grand afternoon, grand afternoon. The rain has stopped for a minute. Come out here. And what you're looking at is one of my, I'm a DIY guy. It's one of my new uh, vertical grow towers that I made from three inch PVC. I painted it, then I've sealed it with acrylic. Then I took, drilled holes in the side and placed these uh, these grow plugs that I bought from a 3D shop that made them for me. These grow plugs, they'll put the plant plugs inside here. That's where the plants will grow at. And I also made, I made a base for it out of concrete that I put a one inch hole in. There's a base that will hold it up. It will sit in, sit in here vertically. This weight will hold it vertical. I have to seal this with acrylic also. I'm gonna do that today. My inside project. Let that dry. And uh, it's good to grow food vertically if you have limited space. Like an aquaponic system, you can grow so much food. When you grow vertically, you can grow a lot of food in a small space because the food is growing vertically. So there'll be a lot of dark, dark leafy green plants in here like a spinach, your arugula, your romaine lettuce, all that will be planted in this grow tower. I'll have a pump, pump water to the top, the water will go down, rich nitrate water from the sump, from the fish, will fertilize all the growing plants in here organically. So I'm looking forward to that, you know, like I said, I like adding a little bling to my, uh, to my stuff, as you can see, like these trellises for my dragon fruit that I made years ago, did the same thing, but I also now done this with my vertical tower. So I'm going to be adding this to the aquaponic system in one of the grow beds. I'll make a few of these, see how they work. Beautiful plant art. Plants like to grow in bling. <laughs> so I'm blinging, blinging some stuff out. Till next time. DIY Aquaponics, DIY Solar, DIY Prepper. Ain't nobody coming to save you.